Hello, so my name is Matthew Marshall and I'm here to show you a problem I'm having because I love complaining. <laughs> um, so here we have my home bridge and here in Homebridge, I've been having a recent problem recently and if you're another Homebridge user and you have a MyQ, you probably are noticing the same thing and wondering if and when this is going to get fixed. Um, so I did a little bit of I've been doing a little poking around, and I uh, looked over here on GitHub, and the guy who makes this plugin for MyQ is currently not taking feedback anymore. I guess too many people added him on GitHub, and uh, he said, yeet. So uh, he's like, okay, it's at the point where it's just not helping, um, which I get. I would not want to be firehosed either. Um, but he says, hey, you're welcome to join the Homebridge Discord server and use the MyQ channel and uh, discuss there. So I've been looking around in this MyQ channel and <laughs> people are um, trying to figure out other ways that they can basically get this going. And, you know, people are having a good little discussion about, well, how can we make sure that we don't get um, stuck again? Because, like, clearly with MyQ here, the, the big problem with MyQ is that this whole entire plugin, what it does is it pings from Homebridge, well, from HomeKit and Homebridge locally, up all the way to MyQ's servers and then down to your actual device and then back and forth. And it's pinging like every couple seconds. Um, so understandably, MyQ's probably like, why are we getting all of these requests? We don't want all these requests. So it appears some people have contacted MyQ's support. Crockpot Veggies on Discord says, um, he reached out to the MyQ team, and it looks like due to a recent security setting change on the app, which uh, they really mean their server, any third non-compatible party that users are using with our MyQ app and their products are no longer going to work. Um, so basically, they changed their API so that you have to basically be accessing them from some type of um, approved third party um, in order to have any uh, control over your garage door systems. Which I do get, like, you don't just want anyone being able to try to ping your server to open up someone's garage door. I get that it's a security thing. Um, they aren't making a security argument, really. I mean, a little bit. But it's just a huge pain in the butt, and <laughs> it's frustrating. Um, so all these people, you know, this is a whole collection of people who feel as I do, where we just got the rug yeeted out from underneath it. Yoinked, not yeet. Yoinked out from underneath us. Um, so some people are looking at other options so that we don't get kind of caught out in the rain again. So um, some pe I guess some people are uh, hoping and banking on the RAT GDO um, system, um, having some type of HomeKit implementation. I'm, uh, I'm not here for that, I guess. Um, other people are talking about the Meros, which I know I'm uh, pronouncing, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. I guess Meros has a um, HomeKit opener, so I'm going to load up where I saw that. I was listening this morning to this HomeKit Insider video. Um, they're talking about how Mike is coming to CarPlay. And... Um, I kind of get it. I kind of think it's annoying. It, you should, I'll link to this episode in the in the notes. But um, you kind of see here on the left, they are basically trying to now start promoting a MyQ app that exists within like CarPlay, and now they are making it so that you can't really use HomeKit via third party system like Homebridge to access your garage door. So in some ways it seems like they're kind of pulling the plug on one thing so they can insert their own solution. And I know if you're anything like me, you do not like that. It's like, I want to, it's, it's my device. <laughs> I want to be able to access it how I want. So bye bye MyQ. Um, it's been fun. It's been, well, I don't even know if it's been fun. It's been enjoyable. It has worked, uh, but now it doesn't. So big props to, um, whatever this guy's name is like thank you for your years of support uh much appreciated but yeah it's time to move on so elsewhere in i think this video yeah right afterward <clears throat> this is really like perfect timing 10 days ago 
they started talking about how they have actually used at the end here they start talking about how um what's the guy's name it's the guy here in the corner um steven robles so he says yeah i actually have a uh, maros um home kit controller for my garage door and he said not all the home kit stuff from maros is solid but that garage door opener is probably the most solid home kit like most reliable home kit product i have in my setup and these guys are big on uh, home kit so that's uh very exciting so i'm seeing some people talk about it here on discord i'm seeing him talk about it so what i've done is i've gone ahead and i've ordered myself it because i need this stuff to work just a quick note and i'm gonna include links in the description on this they have numerous um, versions of the exact same thing and that's really annoying <laughs> so this one here is $49 um, and it works with HomeKit it is their um, MSG 100 HK you got to make sure you got one of the HK ones um, they also got this one down here but the big thing that I'm noticing is um, the sensor capability so I actually ordered this and then immediately canceled it and instead got this one which I will link in the bottom um, which includes the wiring for um, some sensors for it to know if it's open or closed with the MyQ so with the MyQ I, I have the older version of this um, but I actually have one of these installed at a friend's house um, where you have like this wireless brick that needs a couple different batteries a year in order to like continue connected this is what it uses to detect if the door is open or closed um, but to be honest, this thing's finicky. Um, my parents got a, um, a MyQ setup, and it just was incredibly unreliable for them. And the worst part of it was the um, is my door open or closed sensor was not working really at all for them. I don't know if it's because their door is made of a different material. I don't know. But anyway, um, it looks like the Meros stuff, they actually have these like um, magnetic contact sensors, so I don't think they actually have to touch. I'll probably upload another video with like a review of me installing it or something. That's something I should do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they uh, this comes with that for the exact same price. Ooh, come back here. Um, in fact, the list price is lower. The list price on the one, like, what is going on here? Like the list, <laughs> the list price for the one that doesn't include sensors is sixty bucks, but then the one that includes sensors is. 50 bucks so I, I don't know but anyway this is the solution i'm moving forward with um maybe i'll update and do another video kind of showing if things worked out if things didn't work out who knows i probably need to start posting more videos anyway so um well that's it from me uh yeah peace